Hey, you got a minute? Let's talk mobility. I'm walking around my apartment picking up these dog toys that are all over the floor trying to just clean up and it got me thinking. There's a lot of parallels between what we do in life and what we do in the golf swing, particularly something like the hip hinge. Now this month we've been talking about our kettlebell swing challenge, which is all about that hip hinge. But when it comes to our golf swing, once we're able to maintain our posture standing, that's one thing. But can we maintain it when we bend over, when we hinge from the hips? And if we miss that ability to hinge from the hips, all of our hard work of making good posture, chest upright, back flat, starts to go away and we get into this rounded position, it causes us to lose our ability to turn on our backswing, lose power, like what's going on? I spent all this time mobilizing so that I have good posture, but if we don't have hip hinge, we're not gonna be able to maintain it. Take a golf club, stick it on your back, have it touch your butt cheeks, your back, and your head, and just get really good at hinging from the waist. This is a great exercise to improve your hip hinge so that you can play some better golf. Guys, don't forget the giveaway for the Portland Seattle Golf Show is private coaching and some power bands that's still going on. If you want to enter to win, comment and tag your friends below. The more friends you tag, the more chances you have to win. And make sure you tune in tomorrow as we continue to talk all things golf mobility. Move better, play better.